I'm Simon Hitchens, a qualified surveyor and damp expert. Yesterday we surveyed two properties that had had damp proofing treatment by the same large London based damp proofing company. Here we can see a wall that is damaged by poor circulation. This is caused by condensation, not rising damp. The other side of the same wall has a low uh, humidity reading, uh, damp meter reading. Uh, along the same wall, uh, by the door, it's a low level. Um, but we can see lots of mold, uh, high humidity readings. Uh, and here, the ventilation is not working out of the kitchen. You can see it's not even holding up this piece of paper. Here's another property. I had two treatments from the same London-based company. Again, the issue is condensation. Here, condensation is trapped between the impermeable render or, um, and plaster of the treated wall and the permeable of the original wall. The whole length of this wall has been damaged by uh, this damp proofing company. If you visited or if they had visited the other side of the wall they would have seen that the wall is essentially dry. If you test with a damp meter at the low levels you can see it's dry. Uh, going back to the damaged flat uh, we can see the inside of the wall is dry. This is the cause of the damp its uh, ventilation, lack of ventilation internally. These are some examples of rot, specifically dry rot, not found at either of these two properties, but if diagnosis is incorrect, the cost, damage and danger is far greater.